Hey everybody, today is October 2nd and I am working on a new project. So it's been a while since I worked with these uh, little kit that I made a while back and today I'm going to attempt to grow a dinosaur kale in this little container. I've done this before for basils and lettuce and even peppers but then the peppers outgrew this container so I had to transfer that. So today I'm gonna do kale so I have these uh, seedlings already started about, um, I think they're about a week and a half now. But if you look at the bottom, see there are roots already there. So they are good to go for this type of setup. So I have three, but uh, the other two I'm going to put in the baby container. And this one here, I'm going to use this little mini kit. So if you uh, want to know how to create one of this, I'll give you a link to this video, but I've, I made this in another um, video that I show you how to do this. So this is very simple. Uh, it's made out of a just a regular water bottle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transplant this into this here. And here is a one inch net cup that falls right into there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour nutrients in that would touch the bottom of the net cup there and then transplant that into here so here is my nutrients and this one is the master blend and I will provide instructions on how I mix this in the uh, video section below so first what I'm gonna do is pour water into this container just enough so that it will touch the bottom of that net cup uh, yep, there you go, just about. Then you take one of this. Here's the tail. A little bit leggy, but they're fine. And then just push that down into the bottom. And then I made this just out of paper, basically wrap around this with the, this paper and then tape it. And the reason for this is so that we can keep lights from penetrating through. And when you do that, you prevent algae from growing. So that's the only reason uh, the paper is here. Then I will put that into this container, just like that. And then this is gonna go under my lights. And then you just sit back and watch it grow. And if you like to, because usually uh, when the lights hit the um, the rock wool at the top, uh, it produce some algae growth. So to prevent that, I usually just throw a few of these, uh, they call it uh, hydrotons or lava rocks or whatever, however you guys want to call that. Just drop a few there at the, at the top. It also helps uh, keep the plants uh, actually straight up as well. But that is all. Um, I will do some more updates and keep everybody updated as this grow more. And I think eventually this is going to outgrow this container. So then our next, uh, once it outgrow this container, I'm just going to transfer that into the bigger container. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment. Thanks.